Today we are going to make books, so please everybody open your book. Yes. Okay, please, everybody open your book on page number 46, I think. It's reading and speaking. So it's the unit three. We are going to talk about uh, one country. It's page number 46 and 47. We are going to move on here to the book. Are you ready? Okay, what place is this? What do you think? What what place do you think is this? Do you know this country? Or this? Do you know what place is this? Turkey, says Matias. Okay. If you don't have book, Turkey, are you sure? Los que no tienen libro, ya saben que el libro está en cubicol. Okay, las páginas del libro están en cubicol. Y ahí lo pueden descargar y pueden observar. O observamos acá en la pantalla. Hi, good morning. Okay, so now, yes, it's Turkey. So today we are going to read about that. It says, listen and circle the correct option, okay? First, we are going to listen and then we are going to circle. Okay, please, everybody pay attention. Track 18. Hi, Hi. I'm Fusun Uzil. I'm from I'm Istanbul, from Istanbul and, and I'm Turkish. I'm Turkish. Istanbul, Istanbul is a very is a important, important city, in, city Turkey, in Turkey, but it but isn't, isn't the capital. The capital, the capital of, Turkey of Turkey is Ankara. Is Ankara. Okay, do you need to listen again? Ah, ahí está para los que entraron un poquito tarde. A ver, it's page number 46, okay? Again, we are going to listen again. Please, everybody pay attention. Track 18. Hi, I'm Fusun Uzil. I'm from Istanbul and I'm Turkish. Istanbul is a very important city in Turkey, but it isn't the capital. The capital of Turkey is Ankara. Okay, so what is the answer for number one? Turkish, very good. It's Turkish. So we're going to put here, we're going to circle here Turkish. Okay. Next, for number two, she's from Istanbul. Istanbul is a beautiful and famous place in Turkish, but it is not the capital. The capital from Turkish is Ankara. Okay. Istanbul is or isn't the capital of Turkey? Isn't, no is, but it's a famous place in Turkish, okay? So now we are going, to, very good. Who is Laura, Catherine? Ah, Josue, okay. Very good, Josue. So now we are going... We're going to move here to the exercise two when it says look, read, and number. First, we are going to look these pictures. This is for number one. I think it's like a mall. No, this is the food, the famous food, I think. Maybe it's... Uh, how is the name of that? I, I forget. And this is another picture, another food from Turkey. And this is a place like a church, no? It's like a temple. 
Okay. So we're going to read places to see in Istanbul. In the Egyptian Spies Bazaar, you can try Turkish delight, a traditional candy. You can also try some Turkish coffee. You can go shopping at the Grand Bazaar by souvenirs and eat kebab, a popular Turkish food. Many people visit the Hagia Sophia to see its incredible architect. So, what, yeah? Three, two, and, and four says, okay. Yeah, Josue says one, the first. Egyptian Spice Bazaar can try Turkish delight and traditional candy. You can also try, yeah, very good. This is number one. And this is number, you can go shopping at the Grand Bazaar by souvenirs and eat, keep a popular Turkish food. This is one. This is two. Let's see, it's what I said. You can go shopping. I think you can go shopping. It's here. No, it's number one. So the second is number one. The first is number two. This is number one. Because you can buy souvenirs and eat back up a popular Turkish food. This is a kebab. This is a kebab. This is untried candy and you can eat Turkish coffee. Where is the coffee? It's here. So it's number two. Okay. So the first is number two. Okay. Number two. And this is number three. ¿Cómo se llama este templo que está acá? Uh-huh, Hagia Sophia. This is to see is incredible architecture. architecture. It's a beautiful place. Okay, we are going to read the glossary. Bazaar. We are going to read here the glossary. Glossary says, Bazaar, a street market. Try is to do something to see if you like it. Candy is a food made from sugar or honey. Souvenirs is a things you buy to remember a place. And landmarks is a famous place. So now we are going to move on here to the exercise three. When it says complete the table about a city you know. Okay, city or town. The city that you know. Okay, what is the meaning of landmark? We read here. Landmark is a famous places, okay? Shopping and local food. A ver. Uh -huh. For example, in Lima, it's a city. In landmark, Famous place, I will put Larcomar. In shopping, Larcomar, oh yeah, we have three places now. Larcomar, um, Main Square, Plaza Sa Main Square, a Plaza de Armas, um, and the other famous place in Lima. Yeah, but it's a famous boulevard. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, very good. Okay, very good. Okay, you can put that in your book. This is an example for me. Okay. Aha, uh callao. -huh. In shopping. Ah, in shopping. Yeah. San Miguel Mall. What else? Yeah, yo, okay, yo, I think yo, okay, it's a famous. Okay, local food. No, pero el nombre de los restaurantes. Local food. Where you can eat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Así, ¿no? Um, ah, Tanta, yes, Tanta is a famous. Yeah, and it's, it's expensive, I think. Okay, we finish here. So please, I need that you participate, please, in this case. Volunteers or victims? What do you want? Yeah. Okay. Okay, big teams. Okay. Alejandro Vargas, please. Are you there? Alejandro Vargas? Yes, no. Hoy día es su último día de evaluación del primer bimestre. Alejandro Vargas. Ya, yeah. Alejandro, please tell me, can you use your microphone, Alejandro? No. Miss, no sé. Ok. Pero si todavía no te he dicho lo que vas a hacer, Alejandro. Miss, no sé, me dice. Ya, a ver. Another volunteer or victim. Who is yo? Okay, Rafaela, please. You have to describe this, for example. The city, similar like this, okay? Similar to this. In Lima, you can visit the landmarks, Largo Mar, Main Square, Caral, I don't know. Your example. You can go shopping in San Miguel, Mall, Real Plaza, Jockey. Aya, Chosa is but you can you can quieres traducir esto hard h u t no H U T or Shack. Shack Hud. Pero no se traduce. Chosa Náutica es un nombre de un restaurante, así que no se traduce. O sea, es Chosa Náutica. O Shack. But the majority people say Hud. H U T. Ok. Pero no se traduce. Ok, come on, Rafaela. Vamos. Ya. 
You can visit Lima. A ver, para que puedan hablar. Acá les voy a poner, ¿ok? You can visit y el lugar, ¿ok? Lima, Huánuco, Ancash, I don't know. The city, ¿ok? You can visit that. You can go to, y ahí dicen los lugares, Larcomar, Main Square, I don't know. The other, you, you can go shopping, y ahí mencionan dónde pueden ir de compras. Y el otro, ok, continue. Uh -huh. Very good, thank you. Another volunteer, please. Yes. Okay, another volunteer, a big team. ¿Cuál no está en el libro? Era la página 46 y 47. Estamos, com estamos completando este cuadro. Ya lo completamos. Ya completamos el Arma, Shopping, Local Foods. Ya, yeah. y esto de acá es para que ustedes participen y hablen, ¿ok? No, ya. Yeah. No, eso es para que puedan participar. ¿Cómo participo, Miss, utilizando esto? Por ejemplo, you can visit Lima, o I don't know, ¿qué lugar han puesto ustedes? Este es un ejemplo, este es mi ejemplo. Porque acá yo he escogido la ciudad. ¿Ok? La ciudad de Lima, ya. Yeah. No, eso es para... Si deseas, pones lo mismo o si no, pones otro. Ajá, pero para participar ahora voy a empezar a llamar, ¿ok? A ver, quiero que participen. Ya, a ver, dime. You can visit Lisboa. ¿A qué lugares puedo ir? You can go to, me tienes que decir. Vamos, Piero. Ajá. Ajá. Yeah, and go shopping. You can go shopping where? Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, you can eat in, ¿dónde podemos comer? You can eat Okay, thank you, Piero, for your participation. Good. Thank you. So now, guys, we are going... Sí. 
see. A ver, Gael, ¿qué pasó? Please, esos comentarios. Ok, we are going to continue here. We are going to stop here. And we are going to move on to the workbook. Workbook page number 137. Please, everybody pay attention. Después no quiero que me pregunten, ¿qué página, Miss? Cuando ya estamos avanzando. Ok, please. Workbook page 137. Ok. Everybody's there. Page Oh, oh, no quiere cargar. Stop, guys. Stop writing this. Les estoy viendo lo que están escribiendo, por favor. Ok. Here. We are going to make this, okay? This part. It's page. Mm. ¿Qué página era? Page 137. It's here, okay? Okay. So please says read and mark with a tick what can you see in Patara. Okay, please everybody. Ya todos. A ver, siguen escribiendo cosas que no es del inglés del curso. Los voy a tener que retirar de la, de la clase, okay? Okay, stop. Yeah, pay attention here, please. Patara says. Many tourists go to Istanbul, but they can also visit Patara, a famous beach in the south of Turkey. The beach is 18 kilometers long. It has Roman ruins, including this ancient amphitheater. Many tourists visit Patara to see the wildlife. The area has a lot of birds and turtles. Patara is also a good destination for families. It has a water park with water slides and swimming pools. Mm, it's a beautiful place, I think. This is Patara. Many tourists visit Patara to see the wildlife. There The area has a lot of birds and turtles. Patara is also a good destination for families. It has water park with water slide and swimming pool. Mm, nice. So now we are going to take here. Have museum? Yes or no? Museum? Yes or no? No. Okay, we are going to put it here. And the other one. Okay, this is no. An X, okay? An airport? Is an airport? Yes or no? No. Wildlife, yes. So we're going to put here wildlife, wildlife, yes. 
What are the slides? Yes or no? What are the slides? This is water park, what wildlife, but no water is life. Swimming pools, yes. Ah, okay, good. So it's water is life too. Rinse, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we finished this part. It has an airport. Tiene aeropuerto. ¿Qué dice en el list? Entonces no lo marcamos. Ponemos una X nada más, ¿ok? Ya. Continuamos. Read again and circle true or false. We are going to circle true or false. Patara is an island. False. The beach is very long. True. Oh, I can do that. Ya está. <laughs> yeah, I will use circles, okay? Tourists can visit history museum. True or false? False. Next, Padara has many birds and turtles. True. And the other is. Pero ustedes ya saben, pues para qué lo voy a estar quitando ya. Patara is not a good place for families. True or false? True. Okay. Very good, guys. So, we finished this page. So, now we are going to practice, okay? Okay, we are going to look for a number 500, okay? Write in for Miss. So what do you have to do? You have to write a sentence like this. Look, this is an example, okay? How can you change this verb? ¿Cómo cambiamos este verbo en cuando utilizamos el he, el she y el it? ¿Ok? Misses. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo cambia el verbo en tercera persona? No, eso es solo para practicar acá en la clase. ¿Ok? 400. ¿Cómo sería? Si es study. ¿Cómo sería? Studies. Very good. A ver, we are going to see here. Studies. Very good. We are going to continue for 300 points. Mm -hmm. Dances. Estamos en tercera persona. ¿Cómo escribimos cuando estamos con el he, con el she, con el it? Dances. Ajá. Uh -huh. 200, half, habes, hat, halves, Diana says halves, the majority says halves, mm, we are going to see here, has, very good, it's has, it's not habes, next, so, yeah, you have a point. 
So here we have question. We are going to see what kind of question we have. Change to question, I like ethnic food. So you have to change like this. Do you like ethnic food? Okay, tenemos que cambiarlo a una pregunta. Okay, continue. For 200 points, change the question. I go to jazz clubs. ¿Cómo sería el question? Ya, eso dice Matías. ¿Qué dice el resto? A ver, Piero. Ajá, a ver, Fabricio. Do you, you do going to jazz club, says Fabricio. Do you go to jazz club? Ajá, we are going to see. ¿Cómo empezamos una pregunta en simple present? Con el dúo, con el das. Do you go to jazz clubs? En este caso es do porque estamos utilizando el pronombre you, ¿ok? Next, for 300 points. Change to question. I exercise every day. Escribimos, escribimos la pregunta. A ver, escribimos. Quiero verlo escribir. Do you exercise every day? Okay. Thank you. We are going to see if it is correct. Do you do exercise every day? Yes. Do you exercise every day? Good. Thank you. For 400 points, classical music relax me. Okay. Who else? King Mas. Nobody. Okay. We're going to see here. Does. No era do. Era does. Does classical music relax you? No relax me. Estás preguntándole al otro, ¿no? Relax you. Okay. Continue. For 500. Science interests me. Ya, yeah, a ver cómo será ahí. Does or do? Okay, we are going to see here. Does science interest you? Very good. Does, because, ¿por qué does? El does va con el he, con el she o con el it. Y science es como si fuera un it. Entonces, por eso utilizamos el das, ¿ok? Das. El do va con el they, con el we, con el you, con el, ¿ok? Does science interest you? Very good. So, here, what is this? What is the name? Ah, yeah, this is Disney question. What is the name of Mickey's pet? Okay, we are going to see. Yeah, Pluto. Good. Ah, uh, you know that. For 200, what is the name of Syrian? Alejandro Vargas, por favor, que sea la última vez que escribes así. Ya va varias veces que escribes así en el chat. Okay. Ariel, thank you. Good. 300. What is the name of the flying elephant? Ah, Dumbo. Ah, eso sí sabe, ¿no? <laughs> Number four. Who is Lilo's pet? A stitch. I didn't know that. For 500. What is the other channel of Disney? Disney. <laughs> Disney XD. Pronouncing the third person. We have to pronounce it the third, the, the third person. For example, it speaks. Okay, with S. You have to pronounce, okay? Everybody repeat, please. Smells. Uh-huh. Smells. 
smells with z smells uh huh next watches watches con i z watches okay this is the good pronunciation okay watches no no es watches es como un zumbido z watches okay for her leaves Leaves, como un zumbido, again, leaves, ajá, uh -huh. very good. ¿Cómo será acá? Notices, notice, notices, with E, notices, okay, good. Okay, guys, so we have to finish the class here. So do you have questions about that? Do you have this? If you want to practice in your home, you can enter, you can practice and you can play with your family. Pueden practicar con su familia, jugar. Se llama Geopardy Labs, ¿ok? Este PPT está en Cubicol y las páginas del libro también está en Cubicol, ¿ok? Todos ya crearon su classroom porque a partir de la otra semana vamos a, a utilizar el classroom. Ok, thank you. Ya. Yeah. Sí, vamos a hacer cuaderno, pero hoy día no hemos, hoy día hemos hecho el libro. Ajá. A partir ya del segundo bimestre, cuando tengamos que hacer cuaderno, les voy a avisar, ¿ok? Copiar esto o imprimir, depende de ustedes. ¿Ok? Another, ¿Otra pregunta? ¿Another question? No. Mis, ¿para qué? ¿Para qué qué, Valentina? No entendí tu pregunta, Valentina. Ah, para hacer la clase. Cada uno se le ha dado un correo institucional para que pueda entrar a la clase. Ustedes ven que cuando entran acá al Meet, yo les tengo que admitir para que puedan entrar a mi clase, ¿verdad? Si no, no pueden entrar. Entonces, con el Classroom, ustedes van a tener su correo institucional con su nombre. Entonces, ya voy a saber quién es, porque algunos entran con otros correos. Van a entrar con su correo institucional y ya no es necesario que yo les admita. Automático entran nada más a clase. ¿Ok? Y ahí se va a ver su asistencia. Por ahí se van a mandar las, las actividades. Por ahí también se van a colgar las clases, los PPTs, los libros y todo eso. ¿Ok? Okay, thank you. Goodbye, guys, for your participation. Bye. Have a good day. Goodbye. Blessings.